Okay. Hi, hi, I'm Maeve. If you have a yoga strap, that was a tongue twister, not really, but for me. If you have a yoga strap, we're gonna start with it now. And we're just gonna lie down. If you don't have a strap, there's always a workaround. And at this point, I know those of you live know how to do that, but hopefully, unless you're brand new to me, you know what those workarounds are. Like just hold your leg wherever it feels appropriate or use a towel or something else. But strap around the right foot, left leg is down. Gently press the left heel down, the left leg down. And I only have enough tension on this strap that I have a little bit of a connection. I am in no way cranking or like my arms aren't even super heavy on the strap. I have my elbows bent on the floor so that I have just a little bit of weight that I can push against with my foot. And as you can see, my leg is not even that close into my torso. It's real easy here. First thing out, like uh, letting this be pretty easy, pretty soft on your body. And then your breath, your breath, your breath. Trace and follow your inhales. Trace and follow your exhales. I'm gonna bring the two ends of my strap together and now I'm gonna reach up a little higher. Take my left arm out to the side, right leg is opening out to the right any amount. Notice your leg here. So it's not just passively dropping open. I'm still pressing my foot away in, into the strap. And draw back up to center. Switch your hand on the strap, bring the leg across any amount. It might be a little bit, it might be all the way across, like a twist. It's up to you what feels good on your body. Good, bring the leg back up. You can use the strap here. You're gonna switch your hands again if you're using the strap, or you can hold the inside of your foot, half happy baby. Pulling that right knee down toward the floor with the hand, and then the foot gently presses into the pressure of the hand to get this nice active opener here. and then slide your left foot in. Cross your right ankle on your left thigh knee area. Let the right knee open, stay here, or if you want, lift the left leg up. And you can hold on to the left leg or not, it's up to you. And then place down. Right leg extends out on the floor. Left leg comes up, strap around the foot. And I'm not being at all particular about where it is today, whatever feels good as far as placement of the strap on the foot. And then press the leg away, push the foot away. Give your bottom leg a little strength, a little connection down into the ground. Another opportunity here to connect into your breath. Strap ends come together, reach the left arm up. 
right arm out to the side and then left leg out to the side, any amount. And you're still pushing your foot out into that stretch. For the first five, for day dawn and so And draw the leg back up to center. Switch your hands and then gently bring it across any amount. leg back to center. You can keep the strap and use it half happy baby or you can take I like the inside of the leg, the inside of the foot to the ankle. Yeah. And then bend the right knee, bring your ankle across. Stay there or lift up. Stretch both legs away from you in the air. Let the legs bring you up, Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together. If it feels good, come forward. If not, don't. Rise up and then come onto hands and knees. Firm the hands into the ground, connect to your center. Right leg is going to come out to the side. It's going to come back and in. And you're going to reverse that. And we'll just do that a few times. One more. Good. Stretch back. Rise up. Second side. Don't overthink it. I'm not even doing any one of these exactly the same. Like there's no actual form to it. It's just kind of moving the leg around in the hip socket. So getting some movement. You can kind of explore this. If something feels like pinchy or uncomfortable, you would avoid that. If something feels good, you can kind of move in that direction. And when you're ready, down dog.
bend one knee, drop into the other heel, and kind of let your hip drop to the side a little if it feels good. You can kind of rotate a little here. You can do a little side bending action, so really looking for whatever feels good. And then switch. Come back to center, both heels pressed toward the floor, both hands press into the ground, arms and legs very strong. Breath in, right knee to your chest, exhale, step your right foot forward, left knee down. Anjaneyasana, rising up. Engage the left hip, the glutes, lift the arms up to the sky if it's okay. And then just little rocks forward and back. And it's not passive in any way. So as you start to go forward, that front foot really catches you. The glutes on this back hip really working to keep you stable, so good. Find a place where it feels nice. And then right arm just drops to the side, left arm up and over. Working hips is really interesting because there's so many angles that we have to come at because there's so many muscles that connect into the hips, right? Come around and then front leg straightens. So we're going to really try to hit the hips from all angles today. And there might be an angle in the pathway of trying to hit all angles that doesn't really feel like it's benefiting you or maybe like it's not a happy place or maybe a whole host of things that you might feel in those places but do your best in those areas bend the front leg slide this right foot back a little bit come onto the pinky side of the left foot sink down a little bit push lift up Good. Bring the hands around, square off the feet, back to heel is lifted, straighten the front leg any amount, use blocks here if needed. So pretty short pyramid, but I like back heel up here to start, it gives you a little more kind of leverage upward. If you want, you can put the heel down. Bend the front knee, hands come forward. Step back. Just kind of soften into up dog here. So it's a really kind of soft up dog that you can kind of move gently in. Down dog. Breath in. Exhale, left knee to your chest, place your left foot forward, right knee down. Pad your knee if you need to. And then Anjaneyasana. And then we're just moving a little forward and back. So you're engaged here. Your belly's strong. Your front foot is catching. So you're not just like dropping forward and back. You're very much in control here. And that action of con like contracting here and using that front foot is going to limit your range of motion quite a bit. If you are not engaging inward, you're going to have a lot of room to be floppy here. That's not what I'm looking for. So when I really engage this hip, I can't go very far forward. Beautiful. And then find a place where it feels doable, feels good. Drop the left arm off to the side and right arm reaches up and over. Beautiful. And then come around, straighten the front leg. Good, really nice.
Rebound the front leg. Take the hand pretty far forward, the right hand, that is. Slide the left foot back a little bit. Come on to the pinky side of the right leg, and then just drop the hip down. Press and lift. Come around, square off the left foot, come on to the right toes, blocks are wonderful. Straighten both legs as much as you can. Bring the hands forward. Step back, plank. I'm gonna roll over the toes or flip the feet. Up dog, this time a little stronger. Glutes engaging a bit, pulling the shoulders back. Really front body opening. And down dog. Bring your feet to your hands. Halfway inhale. Bow down, exhale. Rise, inhale, hands to heart, exhale, really nice, just breath and movement, don't overthink any of it, inhale, reach up, exhale, bow, halfway, inhale, right foot steps back, exhale, right knee gently down, Anjane Asana, inhale, exhale, front leg straightens, you've done this. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, chaturanga or the floor. Inhale, rise up. Any back bend. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, right leg back. Good, now listen, just circle the knee around a few times. Kind of like what we did on hands and knees. You can reverse the direction if it feels good. Inhale, stretch the leg back. Exhale, place the foot forward. Left knee down. Anjaneyasana, inhale. Exhale, straighten the front leg. Inhale, come forward, step forward, lengthen. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway, inhale. Left foot steps back, left knee gently down. Anjaneyasana. Straighten. Come forward, plank, chaturanga or the floor. Inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. You're just gonna circle that knee around. If it feels good, we're going to reverse it. And then stretch back. Step your foot forward. Anjaneyasana. Inhale. Straighten the front leg. Exhale. Inhale forward. Step forward. Lengthen. Bow. Exhale. Rise. Inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Really well done. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Halfway inhale. Right foot steps back. Exhale. Crescent inhale. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale up. Exhale, hands down. Don't go anywhere. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, maybe pick up the toes, the front of the foot. Exhale, bend the knees. Blank. Exhale, down. Inhale, curl up. Down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Right arm drops, left arm reaches over. Inhale, back up. Exhale, hands down. Front leg straightens. 
bend the knees, step forward. Halfway, inhale. Bow, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands, heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Bow forward. Halfway, inhale. Left foot back, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Right arm down, left arm over. Inhale up. Exhale, hands down, straighten the front leg with an inhale. Rebend the knee, exhale. Plank, inhale. Chaturanga. Rise, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Drop the left arm, reach up with the right. Come back up, inhale. Hands down, exhale. Yeah, straighten the front leg, inhale. Maybe lift up the front of the foot. And then bend the front knee, step forward. Lengthen, inhale. Bow, exhale. Inhale, rise. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, your back bend, so good. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees, look at your hands, feet to hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Bow, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, your back bend. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands hard, exhale. Inhale, reach, bow, exhale. Halfway, inhale, chaturanga, vinyasa, or just step it back. Inhale, right leg back. Good. Keep both legs straight. Look over at your right foot. I don't want it over to the left side. Keep it over to the right a bit. And then lift it higher, lift it higher, lift it higher. Push equally into both arms. Then if you want, bend the knee. And then move that right thigh to the left if it feels good. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, knee down the center, place your right foot down. Back heel roots, reverse warrior. One more inhale, and then straighten, triangle. I like a block and triangle, I really do. My preference is on the back of the right leg. Guide from your feet. Guide your legs from your feet. 
So notice how if you change where you're pushing down or maybe even the subtlety of like a little either rotation or straight pressing down, you can guide your leg up into the hip by the way you press your foot down. And I'm not going to tell you what to do with your foot because it's going to feel different on everyone. But keep those feet working. One more inhale. Bring your left hand around. Bend your right knee. Come all the way into the pinky side of your left foot. Slide this right foot back. We've been here. Good. Really nice. Now you can stay here. Or you can reach down and you can take your big toe. And keep your knee bent and just start to pick up that leg. And maybe push the foot away. Yes. Come through center and make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg stretches back. Keep the left leg a little over to the left. Keep both legs straight. Push into the floor. Push into the floor with your hands and your foot. Lift the left leg as high as you can. Balance the shoulders, the arms. Then bend the knee if you like. And then, with the foot pulling toward your hip, move the left thigh to the right. Extend the leg. Draw the knee down the center. And place the foot forward. Reverse warrior. Yes. So good. Straighten the front leg and triangle. Notice your feet. Guide the legs into the hips from your feet. Kind of create more freedom in your hips. Like you might like do something in your foot and you're like, oh, that gives me a little more space or I feel a little more ease here. Doesn't mean it's not still work. There's still work, but we're looking to balance it with ease. So don't think it always has to be so hard. Like it, sometimes I'll have people say like, it was too easy. I must have been doing something wrong. Not necessarily. Last inhale. You're gonna bend your knee. You're gonna bring this right hand forward. Turn the toes, slide this foot back a little bit, and then lift up. And of course, you can stay here. This is perfect. But maybe you reach down, you take your big toe or your foot, and you just pick up your knee and your foot. And then maybe you press away. And then make your way through. I'm starting to slide there to downward facing dog. Soft, steady, even breath. And 
inhale to your toes bend your knees look forward bring your feet to your hands halfway inhale fold exhale chair inhale left knee lifts up cross maybe wrap right arm on top left arm under eagle if this doesn't feel good just bring your forearms together you don't have to wrap the arms and reaching the arms forward the fingers away from you the elbows away from you and lifting up a little bit Nice. Unravel the arms. Come to prayer in your heart. Slide your left ankle over and then sink back a little bit. Beautiful. And then maybe left hand or left elbow comes over to this left foot or maybe to the shin. And just a nice easy twist. Not your deepest, most aggressive. Really just a nice easy twist. I know there's nothing easy about it, but you know what I mean. Don't force it. You should be able to talk. Last inhale. Exhale. Half moon. I like a block here. And Chapasana. Optional. We're going to bend the standing leg, stretch the left leg back, warrior two. Now can you guide from your feet? Can you use your feet to kind of guide the legs? Last inhale. Bring your hands around. Come onto your back toes. Straighten the front leg momentarily, like just for a moment. And then soften the knee. Push off the back toes. Standing splits. Okay, so find like a spot in standing splits where you feel some effort but that you're not holding on to the edge of the cliff, right? Like that it's not like, oh, at any second this hamstring could pop. And we're not looking for that. We want it to be like, oh, there's some awareness, there's some feedback, there's some tension, but that you feel good. Couple more breaths and then option for a handstand through the window. That's, that looks like it's what I'm gonna do today. Handstand pops if you want. And then we're back into chair. Right knee lifts. We cross, maybe we wrap. Right arm under, left arm on top, or forearms together. And then you're reaching the elbows forward, the fingers forward, the elbows forward. Yes, the forearms, so good. the chest if you can. Bring the hands into prayer. Slide the ankle across. Sink the hips back again. Keep the chest long. And then twisting. So maybe the right elbows on the right shin maybe on the foot or maybe your hand is on the foot and let it be fairly easy like you could talk or breathe easily
We're going to unravel this. And Ardha Chandrasana Chapasana optional. Bend the standing leg. Stretch the right foot back. Warrior two. Well done. Good. Guide those legs from your feet. Last inhale. Bring the hands around. Pause here. On the back toes, straighten the front leg any amount. Mm -hmm. And standing splits. And same sort of approach here sensation, there's feedback, there's some tension, but not so much that it feels like you couldn't sustain it for more than a couple breaths. And then handstand pops if you want. back into chair. Breath in. Forward fold. Exhale. Halfway inhale. Chaturanga or your path to downward facing dog. Right leg back. Inhale. Right knee, right elbow, exhale. Inhale, back. Right knee, left elbow. Inhale, back. Right foot forward. Good. Stay on the back toes. Breath in. I have my arm kind of like I'm ready to cheat it at any second if I need to. So like it's still here, but my knee is going to be able to get some freedom on the right side there. I'm going to come onto the pinky side of my right foot. I'm going to drop the knee wide. I'm not dropping the knee all the way down. And then I'm going to come back up. And I'm going to drop out. None of this should hurt. So if anything feels funky in your knee or in your hip or your back, skip it. Just hold yourself in a low lunge. One more. Walk your right foot over to the left, and then pigeon. And if you need an alternative, you will take an alternative. Please. We're gonna start upright for a few breaths. Really use your legs to give yourself support. So we're not just dropping down and you're holding up with your arms. Use your legs to give yourself some support. And then elbows can come around. And then you can take any version of this. So if you want to be really soft here today and just kind of drop down, go for it. If you want to stay a little more active, go for it. I'm going to leave that up to you to decide how you want to be here. And you also don't have to be still. You might want to explore different upper body movements or patterns, placements.
to make your way back towards center if you've gone off in some other direction. Come back onto your forearms. Good. Come up onto your hands, roll kind of off to your right hip. Bring your left leg around. If you have a strap, a strap is super handy here. You can put it around your left foot or you can hold your left foot and then just try and push the foot away and look to see how much straightening you can bring into that leg, but also into your spine. So lifting the spine upright. You're gonna slide your right leg a little more over to the left. So I'm gonna get my right knee pretty much facing straight ahead. My foot on my right leg is, uh, my right foot is at my left hip, but you'll have the opportunity to change this however you want. Good, you're gonna bring this left foot either in front of the knee or off to the side. Hug the knee with the right arm, left arm comes behind. So once you're here, now make this whatever you need it to be. Like a, adjust your body to a place where the pose is good for you. allowing this twist to be almost secondary to some other things. I'm, I'm using this right arm to kind of lift the knee up, the thigh up, and I'm getting a little more outer right, I'm sorry, left hip here than I am twist. Come back into center. Take both legs out in front. Hold the backs of the legs. Just extend the legs out. Nice and easy. Supported Navasana. Use your, um, use the connection of your hands. I'm a little rusty today, if you can't tell. Use the connection of your hands on your legs to engage the lats a little and to pull the shoulders down. So rather than kind of being here, pull, pull, pull. Mm-hmm, nice. Keep that, stretch the arms forward and then downward facing dog. If you want to go through Chaturanga, please do. Enjoy a few breaths here. Check in how you feel physically, mentally, emotionally. Left leg back, inhale. And left foot forward. Good, so I'm gonna kind of cheat this left arm a little forward so that I've got room to take the knee out to the side and then back up. So just like what we did on the first side, coming into the pinky side of the left foot, the knee drops open, you drop the hips down and you come back up. Nothing should hurt here. If something doesn't feel good, this is a chance to do something else instead. Not everything will work on everyone, right? So you gotta be very choosy in how you welcome things into your body. Like if it's just not working and you keep trying to make something work, maybe there's something else you can do instead. We're gonna walk the left foot over to the right. Pigeon. I'm gonna start upright, use the legs a bit. forearms if it feels good. And then just start to find your own path here. And you don't, you might want to be still, like you might want to just like melt here and just be here, wonderful. You might want to explore movement a little bit and that's wonderful too.
they'll start to come back through center. And back onto your forearms when you're ready. Rise up, kind of rock off onto that left hip and then bring the leg around. You can use a strap here. I'm gonna take this right leg and extend it up. And we're looking to lift the spine and we're using the connection of the hand or the strap on the foot to get more lift. start to move my left foot over toward my right hip a little bit more my knee a little bit more square ahead but you can play with that and then this right foot's either coming in front of the knee or to the side and then I'm lifting up so you're welcome to do this but I'm hugging the knee in because that's going to give me a little bit more outer hip and that's what I'm looking for it's very much less about the twist for me today if you need a good deep twist this is a good opportunity for it which you can still do with your arm like this but I like this this lifting upward not lifting my hip off the ground, I'm just lifting the leg up. back through center. Good. See if you can reach down, take your big toes, straps, where a strap works here too. But if you can't take your big toes, start to push the feet away. Your legs might not straighten and that's okay. Soles of the feet together. Baddha Konasana. Rise up. Knees come up. Have a block handy if just have it handy. Just have it handy. Okay. Bridge pose. If you want, you can use it now. Instead of an active bridge, you could do a supported bridge. If it's okay, a little more opening in the front of the hips. So when we're bridging, we are doing just that. We're opening up the front of this hip here. So using your glutes as a means to... So just like when we're in Anjane Asana and you're engaging your glutes to support, you're doing that here. You're doing that by pushing the feet down, by actually just engaging, and then pulling the heels toward the shoulders a little bit, and that's gonna open up the front of the hips here. Your next exhale, release down. Receive that, notice how it feels. If you're on a block, you didn't have to come off. I should have said that sooner, you can stay on the block. You can go on a block now, or you can lift back up again for bridge. If you want to take this into up bow, you are welcome to. And then if you're on a block, you can stay there. Everyone else come down. And then option to find your block. Bridge your hips up. I'm going medium height. Low is great. You probably don't need it on the tallest unless you're pretty tall or incredibly open here. And then we're going to slowly, maybe one leg at a time, extend one leg if that feels good. Maybe extend the other leg, kind of check in, that feels good. And then both legs can go out. can 
stay here. This is beautiful and it's really nice to stay here for an extended period of time. If you would prefer to bring the feet back in to lift the knees and take the legs up, that will be an alternative. If your legs are up, we'll bring them back down. If your legs are straight out, bend the knees back in carefully. And then everyone bridge, release the block out, and then just pause here. Your feet at about hips distance, maybe a little wider. I like a little bit wider, personally. Drop both knees to the right, take your left arm out to the side. So your feet are staggered, your legs are staggered. Come back to center and just switch that. back into center. So if you need something else, like happy baby, or just a knee squeeze, or Supta Baddha Kanasana, or something, anything, do it. Make it quick, like it's not like, don't start a whole flow here. It's like one thing that's gonna make you feel comfortable. And then when you're ready, you're gonna sit your, or set yourself up. It could be sitting up, but we're gonna set ourselves up for a nice moment of quiet and still. Maybe that's legs up the wall, maybe that's sitting in meditation, maybe that's just lying flat and receiving Shavasana.
you're ready to come out. Moving gently, start to wake your body back up. And you'll just make your way to sitting in a way that feels really good to you. When you're seated, hands in prayer at your heart, spine lifts tall, just in this moment honoring yourself, your practice, what gets you on your mat, what keeps you on your mat. And I'm so thrilled and so fortunate that you spend time with me, so I thank you for that. Breathe in together, bow your mind to your heart. Rise, allow your eyes to gently open. Thank you.